Hi, this is Briston Chester with Follow the Sun Radio and Productions, and I'm coming to you live from uh, Troy State University. Is Troy State University? Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Here in Troy, Alabama, we just wrapped up the first annual uh, Shriners Gospel Music Gala last night with Linda Sin and Daryl Luster, and I'm here with Linda and her husband Michael Garner. And how you guys doing today? Fine. Good. Bless, brother. Bless. Good. Thank you so much for being on our first video uh, testimonies, gospel testimonies. We appreciate you, you joining us. And Linda, you were one of our first uh, uh, featured artists on Follow the Sun Radio. You've been one ever since, and I, I appreciate you sharing your music with us and our listeners. Tell us a little bit about how you got started when, uh, uh, how you got started with singing. Why gospel music is so special to you? Well, I was raised in church. My mom and daddy always took us to church and us kids all together would sing, you know, and daddy, you know, was always there playing the guitar. And as we grew up, we just kind of got away from it. Um, and one night, uh, well, Mike had been trying to get me to go to this little uh, singing hall there in Grimes, Alabama. And I never would go. And then one night we're going home and I said, do they still have the, uh, the little gospel slings over that place and he said yeah i think so and i said well is it too late to go and he said no we'll go over so we went over and we met um the gentleman that was running it and his wife and as we started going every saturday night um uh the the gentleman was singing a song this is uh one more time and at that point one of my sisters had been diagnosed with breast cancer and I knew I had to sing that song for her. And so I learned it. And uh, he gave me the, the soundtrack and the words. And uh, it kind of embarrassed me at the beginning. I was humming the song, trying to learn it as he was singing it. And when he finished, he motioned for me to come up there. And he said, I want you to help me sing this song. And I said, I don't know the words. He said, well, you can learn. He hands me a piece of paper and tells me, sing the chorus. He sings the rest of it. Well, when he's finished, his wife says, Jean, I want you to give Linda the words and the soundtrack because she can sing it better than you can. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. And um, I learned it and I went to Georgia and I sung that song for my sister. And um, she had been in the hospital several times and everybody was telling her he might not go home this time. Was the seventh time she went in, the Friday night before, I had sung that song for her. And she went in the hospital and I went in to see her and everybody, nobody told me I had to mask up and all. You know. mm. And as I stood by her bed, um, different ones was leaving the room uh, and I didn't have a gown on or nothing that I was supposed to have on, no protective, because she had uh, MRSA. And I leaned over and I kissed her right on her lips and I said, I'll see you. Mm. Yeah. And I left. And a couple of days later she went, but, mm. you know, I, I got to sing her the song and it was God's chosen number the seventh time she went into the hospital, she went home. And we were sitting in the little gospel singing place the next Saturday night and um, the gentleman told me, he said, um, God told me to tell you, you need to do what he told you to do and use the talent that he gave you or he's gonna take it and give it to someone else. And I thought, Lord, I can't get up in front of a bunch of people and sing. So if I have to do that, you've got to give me bonus. Okay. And I started praying for bonus. And my first singing, I was so afraid to get up there. But once I got up there, it was like, it's me and God. I didn't know that people were sitting out there. And that was one of the best singings I ever did. And it just started coming back, you know. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's exactly what uh, uh, the Bible teaches us about the talents. If we don't use those talents, He's going to give them to somebody else. And uh, you might as well, you might as well if you. Sometimes we got to be pushed mm -hmm. to 
toward it. And, and that's what a, a good Christian friend will do, like, like what you were saying. Here, she sings this better. Let her do it. And it, it sometimes I, I think that can be jarring to you if you... Right. Because we try to be meek. Right. We try to say, it's not about me, it's not about me. And, right. But when you got up on stage, yeah, it was you and God. Mm-hmm. And different people... Everybody has a ministry to give, and I think different people have different ways. So yeah. You've got a good, uh, a good history behind that too. Right. Um, and and you just, long story short, you've gone from that to you just re- recorded your first studio right. CD. Right. And um, what what are some of the songs that you chose for that one? Um, you can't see the blood, but Jesus can. Mm-hmm. And that's the title of the album. Good. And, uh, Sweet Beulah Land, uh, Above the Cross, uh, and I'm not sure what the rest of them are Yeah, there, there's, point, there's a few of them on there, and um, mm-hmm. um, I'm, I'm going to post them on our on our website, too, so yeah. uh, if anybody's interested in that, they can contact you, and I'll have all mm-hmm. that information. Um, but uh, tell us a little bit about, or Michael, let me ask you, tell us about this gospel music gala that you just uh, uh, organized, and I know it's... You know, centered a lot around Linda and her her successes and singing. Tell us how you got the idea and, and where where that all came from. <clears throat> well, uh, one night I was in I was in bed asleep. And God woke me up and uh, gave me a vision. You know, ever when when God talks to you, it's not always as people think it is. Sometimes it's in the middle of the night. Sometimes it's during the day. You know, and and he he woke me up and he said, "This is what I want you to do." And uh, I said, Lord, I said, you know, that's a lot. You know, I've, n- I've never done one before. And uh, so I, that morning when we was drinking coffee, me and Linda was sitting there drinking coffee, I told her what kind of vision that I had. And I said, this is what God wants us to do. This is the next level. Well, brother, you know, uh, if you're in your comfort zone, that's one thing. When you step out of your comfort zone and step on faith, that's another thing. God's taking you to the next level. And, uh, you know, the Bible says faith without works is dead. We've got to step out on faith. I don't care what it is. You've got to step out on faith. And so uh, I, I told her what I thought, and she, she said, well, you know, I'd love to do that, to help children. And so uh, I got on the phone, and, and uh, I said, Lord, who, who do I need to ask to come? And so I got on the phone and I got a hold of Daryl Lester and uh, over at Malico Records. I told him what I had, you know, what I thought and what God had showed me. And he said, brother, I want to be a part of it. So uh, from that point, that's where it all, you know, come from. And uh, God started opening up doors. Uh, you, Follow the Sun Radio and Productions was behind me 100%. Uh, y'all did all the graphics, all the commercials, all the uh, posters, and all that, you know. And I didn't ask you, brother. You know, you just stepped forward because you had the same vision that I did. It needed to be done. It needed to be done. And uh, so we went from there. I started going on television. I was on like eight different television stations. I was on radio, uh, you know, and, and promoting this thing. And we had an awesome time last night. I mean, uh, Daryl and Linda, uh, you know, they they really put on, it wasn't a show, it was church, you know, and that's the way we wanted it, you know, anybody can go out and sing, anybody can go out and and put on a concert, but we we felt like that that wasn't where we needed to go, we wanted to have church, and I think we had a great response from people, Um, what I understand, there was a a few people that uh, changed their lives last night. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, with Follow the Sun Productions behind us, not only Follow the Sun, but we had an, another production company, which was uh, uh, Chris uh, in, in, his, in his organization, which is uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ Ministries mm-hmm. and uh, Productions. They, they gathered in with us, and, uh, you know, we all worked together. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't one of these things where... You know, I'm more than you are. Yeah. It was all about God. And when you have everything about God, then, you know, it's going to work. Yeah. I don't care if God called you to to go to the church and be an usher, 
Sunday school teacher, or just clean up the church. God's got a place for each and every one of us. Yeah. And as, as we show him that we're worthy enough to do what he's asked us to do, he's gonna move us to something even greater. And my, my message to people is this listening to this interview is nothing is small in God. That's right. We all have to work together. I don't care what religion you are or anything else. We all need to work together. We need to get past all of that and do God. God. Exactly. And if we do that, then then there's no telling where you can go. It's just like the uh, thing they teach you in Bible school about the arm, the whole body of armor, armor yeah. of God. Right. Every little piece. Right. Uh, equals the the entire body of Christ. You know. The, right. There's no small part. That's right. The no. person who cleans the church is just as important as the preacher. That's, That's right, right, brother. You know? That's and right. Just as important as the, the song leader. That's it. So if you sing songs, if you uh, do media, if you uh, right. turn on the lights of the church, make you know, it, every bit of it goes toward the, the glory of his kingdom and that's it. Leads toward the salvation of lost souls, and that's what it's all about right there. One thing's gotta help the other. The Bible says, you know, we're not all hands, we're not all feet. We all come together as a whole body of Christ. Mm. And and that's that's where we've got to put our put our minds at in these end times because we are in the end times, brother. Oh yeah. And uh, you know, we all got to work together. Yep. That's that's the message today is everybody together. Yep. We don't know when it's going to happen. This may not even air. So if you're watching this right now, you're lucky. <laughs> he gave you another day. Real blessed. He gave you another day. That's, That's right. right. Um, tell me a little bit. I know um, Ken Robertson yes, writes sir. a lot of your music. Right. Um, tell, he's your cousin? Yes. Tell, tell me a little bit about Ken and, and his whatever you can tell me about him because he seems to have a, a big influence on the songs that you sing and if you want to speak about him and then Michael you can talk a little bit about him too okay well we met Ken I was doing I had just started doing my singing and we went down to I believe it was Youngstown uh, to a little tabernacle one night we met Ken and some other friends of ours uh, at that point we didn't know any of them but they're real good friends now um, and they got to talking and um, they found out they were related. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a southern problem right there. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Wait, your mama is. You, oh, we're, we're cousins. True. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And, and Mike told him that uh, he must have took after the Robinson side of the family because the Garner side of the family was uh, a little healthy. Yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> from that point, someone was talking about Ken's weight because, you know, he's real small. He's on the low side of the, of <laughs> yeah, the, of the scale. Of the scale yeah. <laughs> and I, I've called him breath and britches ever since. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he just calls up whenever I answer the phone. He says, this is breath and britches. I need to talk to Mike. <laughs> But uh, that's, you know, that's, that's Ken, yeah. you know, and he, he said, I've got some songs and all. Yeah. Do you want to try to sing them? And I said, you you got songs, you write songs. And he said, yeah, I write songs. And I said, you write them and I'll sing them. And it's just been like that ever since. He's got some really good ones. He, he uh, in He sang, he wrote In, in the Sand? Did he mm -hmm. read that? No, 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 uh, he no. didn't he write did, that. He wrote um, Mama's Garden. Mama's Garden. Yeah. Wait. You seem to like that. What would you, what would you say your your I know you probably can't make a favorite, but what would you what's your favorite song to sing? What's what's the song I guess I should say that speaks to you most? Well, I, I love Mama's Garden of Prayer, but the one the one I did last night, you can't see the blood and above the cross. Above the cross. Yeah. I mean, above the cross is what Jesus did for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to say. Yeah. You can't see the blood, but Jesus came. And the blood I see today can wash and Christian, 
I, I, said, I said this last night on stage, you just walk up to somebody and you know. Mm -hmm. like, like me in a secret club, like I, I see it. It's, <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> people said that about when the day I was saved, they said when you, when you come up, it's just a, it's a different face. You, you right. see it. You see yes. a different look on your face. Right. And, and that's, that's just, it that shows the power of what Jesus can do in somebody's life. You can take a broken piece of clay and make the pot back. Oh, you know? yes. You know? Um, I, and I'll, I'll just let you guys, whoever wants to go, you know, if you want to talk a little bit about your relationship with Jesus, which I know that's the, the most important thing and the thing that I would hope anybody watching this that doesn't know Jesus Christ, that um, I know a lot of people out there think it's foolishness, think it's silly, um, yes. but... And, and I'm not trying to promote myself, but just like Ken, I've been writing some songs too. Uh, one of those is, is called You Ain't Gonna Get It Till You Got It. That's you right. It. You're not gonna get it if you're using this. That's right. When you got it, you get it. That's right. right. Um, so tell us, uh, either one of you uh, can tell us a little bit about what Jesus Christ means to you, I guess. What? Well, I, I do a song that Ken, that Ken wrote. Uh, it's called On the Right Road Again. Right on that right. started out, this, the song starts out that I started out for Jesus, which I did back in the 70s. I did a lot of uh, tent revivals. I had several groups that I was involved with. Uh, and then I strew away from, from, from God. You know, some people say you can't backslide. The Bible clearly says you can. Oh, yeah. Right. And uh, it was on a slippery slope that I, that I was on the run from God for over 20 years. But, you know, uh, it's nothing to be proud of. It's, it's a testimony, but it's nothing to be proud of. But, uh, you know, I went, when I, when I finally got tired of enough is enough is enough. And I don't know, someone listening to this today, you may be at that point in your life, enough is enough is enough. You're tired of beating your head against the wall. And uh, as the song goes on, it says, but mama kept on praying for me. So somebody's out there praying for you. It might not be your mom, but somebody's praying for you. We all got here because somebody was praying for us. And then it says, I'm back on the right road again. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I follow that song up with, uh, with uh, uh, another song that, that uh, Jesus loved the world out of me. And, uh, you know, once you get saved, Jesus does live, you know, he get, uh, loves the world out of you because, you know, we, we're all born in sin, brother. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, and it's, God gives us a right to make our own decision whether we want to go to hell or we want to go to heaven. And not everybody that, that says that they're going to heaven is going to go. You know, and, and the devil uses us, uh, uses our mind to play tricks on us. But, you know, uh, God is in control. He's in control of everything. Uh, sickness, uh, you know, I, I had somebody come to me and say, you know, I must have been bad because God put this sickness on me. God don't put sickness on you, brother. That's of the devil. And, and the devil uses that against you to make you think so. But you know, I, I thank God for everything that He's done for me. Uh, it, that and Linda was with me during a lot of my times, and, and and you know I was on the road all the time, so I kept that side of my life hid from her. I thought, but she was praying for me. Uh, she was there. She she stood beside me, and and you know, when we got into uh, the singing and everything, that's why you know we work together so well is because. Uh, we both are trying to strive for the same, the same thing, mm -hmm. 
and that you know to see a soul saved is worth our trip wherever we go to see someone healed in a service is worth our trip wherever we go right uh you know uh it's not always a easy thing there's a lot of you know a lot of uh like you said you got to get out of your comfort zone got to put you out of your comfort zone to see where where you're going to be at and uh you know we we go and we sing and and we don't charge i mean you know whatever the church gives us that's what they give us and uh uh you know our main thing is to see people saved see uh people healed uh you know we don't we don't put on concerts Mm -hmm. that's the first thing i tell people when when they come to us singing if you're here to be entertained, you're in the wrong business. We're not entertainers. We're here doing what God wants us to do the best way we can. And so, uh, you know, that's that's basically what I wanted to say on that. And, yeah. and you know, and just, it, you know, you don't have to go to church to be saved. Let, let me tell you, if you're listening to this broadcast right now and you got any doubts in your mind, you have any, you know, you feel like that you're not where you need to be with God, just, just start praying. Just start praying. Yeah, if you think that church membership is going to do it, that ain't. That, no. That's the biggest deception the devil is going to give you. The church rolls are going to burn. That's it, everything brother. Else. That's but it. if your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life, that's right. You're, yeah. you're secure. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. What, what about you, Linda? What, um, what does Jesus Christ? What does that mean to you? Life. That's it. That sums up. Is it? You know, as a child, I think you, well, as a child, you've got this hedge of protection around you, but I think if you look at a a baby before they get into all this mischief, uh, that is, well, even, I'll say this, even even a toddler that gets into trouble and starts doing things you're looking at jesus right there right because right. i think jesus was a rascal when he was a little kid too <laughs> but you wasn't like at, little briston was no he? no no he wasn't anything like him but no no i think you see in the purest form of a saved soul until you come to that age of accountability when you come to that age of accountability and you right. know that you know that you're out of the, the favor of god i think that's when that's when what we do here there were a bunch of children at the the singing last night i think a lot of them got uh, i know my daughters really were enjoyed themselves and they although they enjoyed themselves they heard the message they heard the word they heard the gospel and they're more likely to listen Mm -hmm. to that than they're than they are a droning on preacher you know as a a child right you know they're they're playing on their things at church and (laughs) and all that stuff but they listen to the words of the song. They they pick up a lot more than you think they do. So that's why what you guys do is so important to to young people and all lost people. Right. Um, but that what I was what I was saying is that that relationship with God you see it in the, the eyes of a child. And when when you get saved, you got that back. And it comes back. It you're does. you're born again. Right. You are a you are a child. A God again, mm-hmm. and then you start to grow in, in Christ, and you start to, you know, after you're saved, you're a toddler again, and you're <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, you're a, you know, you you, you grow, and, and as as you get older, and, and you know, different people do different things, grow at a different rate. Uh, it took me a long time before I was comfortable enough to even talk about it in public. Um, so I was a I was a slow grower, I guess. But, <laughs> but yeah, it, it, that's why it's um, so admirable to see you step out on faith and get out of your comfort zone, sing. Uh, you do a great job. I mean, nice. you have a great voice. It's uh, it's very uh, very southern, very home down home. Uh, I know you sing a little too. I heard oh, you yeah. last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got. Got a little bit of, of you singing too <laughs> oh, last yeah. night, but um, yeah, you're just following following the Lord. And um, um, let me ask you this in closing: um, This was the first annual so, uh, uh, Shriners Gospel Music Gala, gala, mm-hmm. gala, however you want to say it. You don't want it. You you don't want it to come up with with the name of the of the event. You can't remember it. I, I, don't think, I don't think it was me. Yeah, it was you. I don't gala, gala, however you say it. Um, but 
this was the first annual. Tell me a little bit about, I know you've probably been thinking and praying about it. What, what's the second annual going to look like? Well, I uh, haven't sit down and uh, decided, well, I, I don't decide the artist, God decides the yeah. artists. And he's not, he's not revealed to me yet the artist that he wants there, but I pray that it will be even bigger than what it was this past year. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with you, uh, uh, Follow the Sun Productions, uh, about you know getting getting it together. So you know we're gonna have to sit down and pray on who we want or who God wants to show up, Absolutely. and we we will know. And 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 I'm looking forward to it. I I really was amazed at uh, the uh, the church park service that we had last night. You know. That that was the main thing. Yeah. Is is you know, we seen people up jumping, we seen people up shouting, we seen people up, you know, really just we was really getting into it. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, we we seen a lot of that. And you know, we we sit back and we we think about it. Well, what could we have done better, or what could have this way, or they should have been more people there. Uh, you know, for the first time, we had uh, over a hundred people there. Mm. So, uh, you know, that was that was a good thing. Uh, we we seen people that that got into the spirit. That was even better. That yeah. was the cream on top of the crop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then we seen people that afterwards said that they didn't go to church nowhere, brother. Mm. And uh, one even made the statement. He said. Uh, he said, uh, he said, we're leaving from here going to Walmart. And he told the gentleman, he said, so you can get you some beer. And you know what he said? I don't want it no more. Amen. You see, that was, that was, uh, that, that took care of everything. Yep. All the, all the pain, all the, all the running around and everything. To hear someone say that I was touched and I don't even go to church nowhere. Yep. But you know what he said in the same breath? If you have it next year, I'll be here. Exactly. Well, people are hungry. That's it. They're brother. hungry for something. They don't know what it is. Right. And I think God will bring, just like he brought, gave you the artists and gave you the production and the, the sound and, and all that stuff, he'll send the people that are supposed to be in the audience too. If somebody will just look and say, not not even knowing they'll turn in mm -hmm. and they'll 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 park and they'll go in and they'll they'll hear the word of god that they probably never heard before and you know what was what was really funny uh we 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 got the sound man he does you know he does the sound at the civic center and the opera house and all that down in dothan and he's he come up afterwards and he walked up there on stage and he told me he said man y'all could have had somebody here that could sing and I kind of looked at him, and he's laughing at the same time. He said, man, I have done a lot of concerts. I've done a lot of gospel groups. I've done some of the biggest names in gospel that you could find. I've never seen nothing that I, like I've seen here tonight. Mm -hmm. He said, man, y'all were awesome. I said, no, we wasn't. I said, God was. That's right. God showed up and showed out. Mm -hmm. And he said, I have, like I said, he said, I've done some of the biggest productions around. He said, I've never seen nothing like this. He said, can I be a part of this next year? Mm -hmm. So there you go. If we try to do it for ourselves, we fail. That's it. When God's in it, there we go. That's it. Well, um, I appreciate you letting us be involved. And thank you so much, Linda. Thank you, Michael. Yes, sir. Linda and I... Sin and Michael Garner, one of the uh, charter uh, uh, featured artists on Follow the Sun Radio, and this has been Follow the Sun Radio um, uh, Gospel Testimonies. Um, I'm Briston Chester, and we'll try to have more of these as, as time goes on with other uh, Southern Gospel uh, artists, some lesser known uh, people that you need to know about, and you definitely need to know about Linda Sin. So thank you so much for, for joining us today. Thank you, man. Thank you for having us. And I want to say this. Yeah. I want to thank you. I want to thank your family. For coming out I, I really enjoyed all of y'all uh, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this again brother we we're are gonna do it again I appreciate God you. bless you brother. God bless you thank you, thank you.